modern man. Well, we know he's... And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Nottingham Forest, and they take on Sheffield United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And he's won the ball. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, it looks like a 5-2-3. When they're defending, it will be a back five. But in possession, the two wing-backs will push forward to provide an attacking threat. The front three should pose a threat, though, because their combination play is excellent. So here's how the line-up looks for Sheffield United. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. That's very effective, good high pressing. Archer. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Trying his luck, vital intervention. Playing it in and putting paid to the danger. Well, for Nottingham Forest, the bitter taste of defeat in the last game. But, well, it could be on for him here. And there it is, 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Norwood. On to Hammer. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But they dealt with the threat first. Aurier. could really get at the opposition high quality defending Oliver McBurney well patient passing could be the key to bringing themselves level but then the one that fails to hit its target And he's broken free. Oh, that is a super save. Well, he had to finish that, but credit to the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant stop. And a struggle to get it away properly. But it just petered out. Jack Robinson. Norwood. McBurney. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. effective play in possession could play it in well that's how to keep the opposition at bay this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Stuart well Derek he took his goal well and was a oh they might score here Stuart and a goal it is they lead by two now fully deserved so the ball rolling again at 2-0. Gustavo Hammer. Norwood. It did look on for them, but not to be. Now options are plenty. And into the last 30 minutes now. McBurney. 
Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Pressure applied. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Nottingham Forest. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. And a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Twenty minutes to go. As the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Baldock. Archer. Could be threatening. Can he finish? Oh, magnificent reaction. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Oliver McBurney. Oh, big chance. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. Well, Forrest giving it away. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Tremendous block. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. It has to be. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing there for all to see. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result.